In this video, we will test our newfound knowledge of gene linkage by solving two linkage mapping problems. Remember that the frequency of crossing over, or recombination, between two linked genes is dependent on the map distance between the genes. In the first problem, we are given a cross of an individual that is double heterozygote for the two genes with one that is double recessive for the two genes. Our task is to determine the map distance, in other words, the recombination frequency, between the two genes. To do this, we must first identify the recombinant offspring. Remember that because crossing over occurs at a relatively low frequency, the parental offspring outnumber the recombinant offspring. Therefore, the two offspring classes that occur with the highest frequency are the parental offspring, and the two that occur with the lowest frequency are the recombinant offspring. Of a total of 100 offspring, 10 are recombinants. Therefore, the recombination frequency between these genes is 10% or when expressed in map distance units, 10 centimorgans. In the second problem, we are given the map distance between two genes on the same chromosome. We're also given the genotypes of the four classes of offspring that result from crossing a double heterozygote individual with a double recessive individual. Our task is to determine the number of offspring of each class that would arise from this cross. First, we must identify which offspring are the parental offspring and which are the recombinant offspring. Recall from the video on genetic linkage that the chromosome inherited from the heterozygote parent determines whether the offspring are of the parental type or the recombinant type. The class 1 and 2 offspring inherited a non-crossover chromosome from the heterozygote parent and are therefore parental type. Conversely, the class 3 and 4 offspring inherited crossover chromosomes and are therefore recombinant offspring. Since the recombination frequency between the genes is 22%, the class 3 and 4 offspring combined represent 22%, or 22 of the 100 offspring. Furthermore, since crossing over produces both crossover chromosomes at equal frequencies, each of these two classes make up 11%, or 11 of the 100 offspring. Finally, the class 1 and 2 offspring combined represent the remaining 78 percent, or 78 of the 100 offspring. Once again, both non-crossover chromosomes are produced at equal frequencies. Therefore, each of these two classes make up 39 percent, or 39 of the 100 offspring.